Hey everybody, it's Bobby Chu here. Just want to take some time to thank you guys so much for all the awesome comments and all the awesome uh, feedback, positive vibes from the uh, YouTube video that I put up a couple weeks ago. I haven't done these videos in such a long time. And because of all the comments and all the feedback and all the wonderful positive vibes, I felt like I needed to put this uh, whole YouTube thing at a higher priority in my life. So if you were one of those people that commented or um, you know, said anything nice and passed it along to friends and things like that, thank you. Thank you so much. You, know, you are part of the reason why I'm doing this new video here. In this video, I want to talk about uh, games. Okay, I used to spend all my free time on games. Arcade games, card games, home entertainment systems, etc. Uh, until I found the best game of all which is life. Not the board game, but the real thing. You only get one life, and there's many levels that you can pass. Try to think of life as a game, always trying to get to that next level. Identify what you could achieve to get to that next level in your life and put your energy into it. Now these levels don't just mean in your career. This can be in your life, your family, your friends. If it's art, what can you do to heighten your level of art? What is the best way to get good at structure? What's the best way to get good at you know, drawing interiors? Identify all the goals that you have and then identify what are the most important. So imagine you achieved all the different goals that you have, no matter how small or how big. And then identify what were the ones when done very well and completed very well brought the most change, the most positive change in my life or in my career. Limit yourself to two or maybe three things at the most. And those are the things that you must focus on big time. You must focus on them every day. You must do something, a little slice of something today. Okay, those things are the most important in your life. If you do not do anything today to get you closer to that goal, then you're delaying and you're wasting time in your game. And this game has an overall time limit, so it's not wise to waste any time. You only have a certain amount and you don't know when this game is just gonna shut off. So let's get going and make the best use of our turn. Identify the things that you would have achieved if you get to that next level and think about how great it'd be if you achieved it. Imagine you got your name into the credits of that big blockbuster movie. Imagine you became a part of that amazing video game that's just taking over. Imagine you're living in that bigger house, or you have more time off with your kids, or whatever it is. And let that be the fuel for your fire today to do something just a little slice of something to get you towards your goal a little bit quicker. You know, I used to love those video games where you find awesome items. You know, I would spend hours trying to get the newest sacred sword or whatever to take me to the next level so I can fight this next boss. But when you think about it, you could relate all those kind of things to life. Searching for that next item. What next contract can you get to elevate you to that next level? What next uh, annual can you be in to get you to that next level? Or what kind of award can you win? What kind of skill can you learn and master to get you to a whole nother level? Think about this. Everybody has something in their lives that they can really think about and identify as if I became really good at that, it would change my life. I'm doing it already. It's just I'm not putting that much effort into it. Because many of these things are the things that you don't want to put as much effort into because it's hard. You know, but the best games are hard. They're not the easy ones, right? And the most challenging games are the hard ones, not the easy, one, easy ones. And the best rewards come from the missions that are extra hard. Think about it. Think about all the things that you do throughout the day 
list down the 10 most time-consuming things that you do throughout the day. This can be Twitter, you know, Facebook, your blogs. Uh, it could be drawing or painting. It could be working. It could be learning. Now identify the three top most important things that, if done well, would totally change your life in such a positive way and take you to that next level. Perhaps you might not even be doing it right now. Perhaps they aren't even part of the 10 things that you listed down, but they are things that you can start right now. That's what I did with my life. I, I thought about it, especially when I was in school. You know, taking all these different subjects, storyboarding, animation, layout, life drawing, character design, painting, all these things. I thought to myself, which next level would I like to go to the most? Is it the next level of storyboarding? Is it the next level of animation? Is it the next level of whatever? Perhaps it's concept art. So all of a sudden, animation was still important but didn't matter to me as much. Whenever I could, I tried to take whatever I was doing and apply it in such a way to enhance my design, my concept art, my paintings. You know, if I really find that a project has a lot of potential to show uh, the thing that I want to elevate, then I'll put extra effort into it. If it's something that has nothing to do with what what I want to do, where I want to go, then I wouldn't really put much effort into it at all, time-wise anyways. Many things you can do quickly and do very well, and part of the beauty of whatever it is that you did was because it was so quick, like a lovely, loose, quick drawing. Once I put my effort into drawing and painting and put animation aside, then all of a sudden my drawing and paintings became much better and started to improve very rapidly. Once I started putting storyboarding aside as well and started concentrating even more on uh, design, drawing, painting, then it increased even more. When you're playing a video game, you have one main objective, perhaps a bunch of little smaller objectives that help the main objective. Focus in. Right, focus in on what your main objective is and have everything else support that objective until you achieve it and get to that next level. Then from there, you might think of, well, what is something I can do now to get to another level? If you find that you are trying to accomplish too many goals at the same time and nothing is really progressing, take a step back. Think about the fact that if you want to gain strength and you want to gain muscle, then how would you do that? Would you do jumping jacks and push-ups at the same time? Would you do you know, arm exercises with leg exercises with stomach exercises and do all these things at the same time? Most likely, no. Most likely, just like an athlete, they need to isolate and train certain muscles to play the game. So for us, that means to isolate and train certain ways of thinking in terms of structure or light or animation or whatever it is to play the game, which is to create whatever it is your job entails, to create that concept art painting where you are using all those exercises of light and texture and all those things and applying it to the game. Just like in some video games, you might start off quite weak. You don't have a big sword. You don't have a big shield or a magic bow and all these things. And you see the main objective. You see that you have to go and battle uh, the big evil villain in the, in the grand castle. But you aren't ready yet. So we have to make mini missions to prepare ourselves to get to that main mission. So we want to think about what can we do in our lives right now? Not a week from now, not a month from now. I meant right now as you are listening to this recording. What is that little slice of whatever that you can do right now that will get you closer to that main mission? If you like this video or if it helped you in any way, let me know in the comments. Tell your friends and pass on the positive vibes. 
If we all did this, the art community would be an even better place. This is Bobby Chu signing off. For anybody that is interested in taking art classes from me or any of my friends on Schoolism, please visit us at schoolism.com.